Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to start texturing our posh scene, also our modern scene. So we have chairs, some fancy looking chairs. We have a modern looking table that I'm just going to move forward just a little bit so it looks a little bit more balanced. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using Arnold to render and shade. So right now we have a dome. And in case I didn't show you in your last tutorial, let me delete that and I'll show you how to create a dome. So right now, if you go to Arnold Render, it's going to be black, right? Because there's no light. If we go to Arnold Light and then we go to Physical Sky, we're gonna get a gigantic dome around our scene. And when I render, we're gonna actually get a scene that we can use. And it's also live. So whatever I do to the camera or to the scene, it happens automatically. Uh, you will see it here. Now, just to let you guys know, this will slow down your computer. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and tackle our glass. There's several ways we can shade an object. And I chose a glass because this is probably the easiest one to start off with. So let's right click, assign a new material. We're gonna go to Arnold and we're gonna use the AI standard surface. As you can see, we have it right here. And I'm gonna call this my glass shader. Now glass has no color, so we're probably gonna change this to uh, zero. And our weight is also going to be to zero. But the magic happens is, is in transmission. So let me show you. So right now it looks like a very dark and very reflective piece. But what we wanna do, and I'm gonna stop by pressing the stop button. What I wanna do is go to my transmission and crank up the weight the weight of one. So now when I press play, you're gonna see that I actually get glass, which is pretty neat. Now, if you wanna change the color of the glass, you can always go into the color and change it to, might say blue, which is a fun way of creating stained glass if you want to. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick to just regular, simple glass, maybe slightly darker. Let's go a little darker. I don't know. Shades of pink is a little weird. If I'm gonna go to for a shade, it's gonna be blue. All right, just a little darker. There we go. It's kinda neat. Um, the next part is roughness. So right now it's looking pretty, pretty clear. So I'm gonna make this selection cause I don't need to render the whole thing. Just this section here. Okay, there we go. Um, so if we wanted to make it a little rough, we can actually create something that looks like frosted glass. So by increasing the roughness, we're actually getting a little bit of that roughness. So you can't really see through the glass if you want to. And you can also play around with what's called the index over fractions. This is found under specularity. Uh, they work together. Transmission and specularity work together. So index over fractions basically means like how is light bending through the object? So if I turn off my roughness to zero, and it's basically perfectly clear glass. Let me stop this and get a better angle. You can see that there's a little bit of ref refraction. It's not perfect glass because otherwise we'll see right through it. Uh, you can see that it bends light. So we can use that to control uh, what type of refraction do we want? If we go to one, if we type in IR one, you're going to notice that it loses all refractions. This is basically considered in a vacuum. There's really nothing to, to refract. So that's when we get to have some fun and start refracting. How much refraction do you want? Do you want to have a lot of refraction? Do you want to have a little bit of refraction? All of that depends on what type of look of the piece you want. 1.4 and 1.5 is around the, the refraction of water. So I'm gonna keep it at 1.4. And there's a couple of other options that you guys can use, but in general, that's can, that will give you uh, enough to uh, get you going with glass. All right, so next we're gonna assign a new material to the wooden base over here. I'm gonna, again, use an Arnold shader. And I'm gonna call this one the wood shader. I'm gonna scroll up. I don't need transmission, so I'm gonna Go ahead and collapse that. I've got my base and I've got my specularity. And right now everything is in white. So I'm gonna crank my weight to one because default is 80% of the color. I'm not sure why, but I'm not a big fan. And I wanna use, let's say something a little bit darker. Let's say I wanna have some, some brown tones into this piece. 
So it's going to look something like this. But um, I really want to push this a little bit further. I want to make it look like it actually has like a wooden texture to it. And to be fair, I think I'm just going to go ahead and scale this down a little bit more. Press the number three to give it a smooth preview. And going back to the wood shader, let's go to color and I'm going to assign a texture to it. The first of all, you have to find out what texture you want to use. I want to use like a warm, um, a dark wood. So if you guys ever wonder where to find textures, I would recommend textures.com. Textures with a textures, plural, .com. You can just type in wood and you will find a ton of textures, tons. I chose this one. And you can see that it's got a substance shader on it if you wanted to download it for substance. But you can find uh, t different types of wood. Also some alpha maps if you're interested in like littering the ground with wood pieces. You got old wood, you got fancy wood, you got all types of wood. It's pretty amazing. If you keep scrolling down, you'll find actual files so you can use it as well for in Photoshop or whatever software you want to use. I downloaded one already, so that's the one I'm going to use. But it's up to you what type of look you want for your piece. So when I go to color, I'm going to click on this little checker. And then I'm looking for file. Then I'm going to click on this little folder and here's my textures. And that's called Al Albedo, which also means color. And I'm going to open it and see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like so far. Let me press play. And you can see that it really adds some nice elements to my environment. It's looking a lot more realistic just by having a texture on it. Now it's up to you if you guys wanted this glossy. I'm going to rough it up a little bit in my specularity. So that little highlight is specular and I'm just going to rough it up a little bit. By, so that's going to help scatter the, wood, the texture so it doesn't look so shiny and perfect. This is going to kind of help it look a little bit uh, less um, like it's been polished. It still looks polished but not as polished. And let's see. And because this darkness kind of distracts me. I'm going to go to show and turn off lights. The light is still there. We'll still, we will still see the light. It's just that now it's not so distracting. You'll still see it in the render, but as you can see, it's looking kind of nice. All right. I think that's a really good place to go ahead and stop. Um, the next part we're going to do is texture these, um, these chairs and then do something about the floor and kind of continue on with this uh, piece and also do a little bit of studio lighting to make your uh, objects and everything look nice. I'm going to move this down and again any kind of change probably recommend to freeze the transformations and delete the history but uh, we're getting there so far so good. Let's go ahead and take a render here. It's looking kind of nice. I'm going to stop. I'm going to click on this little guy right here which is our resolution gate and it will show me how I can render exactly where the render is going to be so that gives me a little bit more ability to take a nice close-up. Press play, maybe lift a little bit. The computer slowing down. Maybe get a different angle. And let's get that render for your portfolio. All right, we're starting to texture. Cool. All right. So the next tutorial, we're going to work on creating the chairs. We're going to create some, um, continue with the environment. I'll show you some tips and tricks, but hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Well, this renders, uh, don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. That is where you can find information about my courses, my free eBooks. I have a lot of resources, including free downloads. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. And thank you so much for watching and for listening and for your support. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And please subscribe and like and share. That would be amazing. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next tutorial when we, can continue, when we continue texturing.